Welcome back to another exciting of Cooking with Chunk, the Super Chunk. That's right. All right. Well, today we have a nice two pound piece of Scottish salmon here that I'm going to put on the smoker. We're going to throw it down in some glaze, some, some bourbon glaze, some maple bourbon glaze, even though I guess it's considered whiskey, not bourbon. But it's still, I got some, some bullet rye here that I'm going to use. Maybe have an old fashioned or two while we're doing it. Hey, you never know. But this month, it's November. I'm doing this recipe so that those people that maybe don't like turkey or ham or want to do something a little non-traditional for their Thanksgiving meal, salmon's a perfect, it's a perfect idea. It's great. It's fairly cheap this time of year. Um, it's perfectly sustainable and it's delicious. Now for those people who don't like salmon, they want to eat some other kind of fish, hey, do what you got to do. This recipe will work for many, many, many different kinds of fish. This. Salmon is a predominantly strong flavored fish, um, but the way that we're doing this today, it's gonna take out nearly all of that, and you're not really gonna taste the fishiness. It's gonna be flaky, cooking delicious. It's gonna be awesome. So, well, let's get started. So, like I said, today I went with a two pound salmon filet um, that I got from a local butcher shop down the road from here. Um, this one is wild caught from Scottish. This is a piece of Scottish salmon. It's my favorite. It's like the butteriest salmon. I still like the stuff made in the USA, the Alaska salmon, the uh, sockeye. That's all really good stuff. Um, they were just running at a good price on this. They got it in today, it was fresh, so I decided to go for it. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brine it in some Game Changer Brine and Injection by uh, Oak Ridge Barbecue. Um, then after, let it sit for about an hour, soak for about an hour brine. Um, I'm gonna hit it with some Killer Hogs AP rub, some lemon, a little bit of brown sugar, put it on the smoker, let it let it cook, then I'm gonna hit it at the end with a maple bourbon glaze, and that'll be really good. So let's get started with the uh, with the fish. So when you start with salmon, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you get it from wherever you're getting it from, just run it, run it under the, uh, the sink, the faucet, just to wash it off, and you just wanna run your hand over any, any parts of it. Speaking of, right generally in the thickest part of the section here, there's a, there's a like a, looks like almost like, it's not really a vein, but you can see where the two fat pieces run together. A lot of times there's bones in there. Are those are called pin bones. Um, um, luckily, most places, they take these out for you, but um, luckily for me, there, there aren't any left. Sometimes I find, a, find them occasionally, find one or two here or there, and uh, they're really hard to get out because they're, they're like an inch long or longer, almost two inches long, depending on the thickness of your uh, filet. But uh, the easiest way to do it is just get a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull them out one by one. Don't try to cut them out because they go way deep into the, into the salmon. Um, on this, I actually asked for a skin on salmon and I didn't know they took the skin off until, uh, until I opened up the package. I should have, uh, should have checked before I, I bought it, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna put this on a cedar plank so we're good to go regardless. I just like to cook salmon skin on because it generally stays together a little better and that way it doesn't flake and fall off. Um, a lot of people don't like the skin. It, uh, it's super fishy, you know, super oily. So cooking it this way, if you're try, gonna try salmon for the first time or, or if you're not too sure about it, take the skin off and then cook it that way and then it'll be just less fishy in the end, even though we're gonna remove it at the end anyway. So we're not gonna eat, actually eat the skin. Um, a lot of people, you can crisp it up and things like that. But um, as you can see, this is a nice, nice, great orange color that we all love. Um, so let's get it into brine and then get it out on the smoke. Give me just a few minutes and we'll whip up the brine. Mm. Okay, so I got the brine. I'm doing it by package direction for, our, for a full flavor or full, uh, full strength brine, which is a cup of this to a half a gallon of water. So I'm doing it in this little pitcher here, this one gallon pitcher, because I don't need a giant pitcher for this little two pound piece of uh, salmon. What I'm gonna do is just whisk it, up, whisk it up really well. And I'm using cold water. I'm actually using the uh, Aquafina brand water because it's the reverse osmosis water. I don't know. I, for some reason, I believe that it, it just makes it taste better. But you use whatever water you can use tap water, it don't matter. Uh, just make sure you just get it mixed up really well inside. And this this brine is great on chickens. I use it. I use it a lot for chicken. It's also good for um, for pork. But the main ingredients on this are salt, pepper, and garlic. 
and it's got some a lot of other little spices and it's just it's just a great all-purpose injection and and or brine so all right so get this all mixed up that's probably good enough here and I'm just gonna throw the salmon in make sure it's all covered get in there you little guy oh yeah oh yeah just stuff it all in there all right so it looks like I don't need to add any more water in this one gallon jug is just enough so all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for about an hour um, and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and light the grill and I have a cedar plank that is sitting in some water get it all get it all wet so we don't burn it up on the grill let it soak in the uh, in the water while we're waiting for this to get done so like I said let this sit for an hour you could go a little longer if you want but this is not a very big piece of meat and this this rub is gonna work very good full full strength on the salmon so I'll see you back in about an hour get it, get it rolling all right it's been about an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and take the salmon out of the brine mm -hmm. Ooh, let me get it out of here it's slippery I'll drain the old girl off first so as not to make a mess on the counter All right, so there it is. And all I'm gonna do is just take some paper towels and just kind of just pat it dry. Um, it's okay if there's just a little bit of moisture left. It's all good, because we're gonna put some rub on it here in just a few minutes. It'll be nice with the bottom. All right, well since the skin's off on this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and season both sides, when generally speaking, like I said, we would ordinarily only do one side, the top side. So go ahead and just do that. All right, man, it smells good already. This, this brine is, it's powerful for sure. So. so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit with some AP rub and then I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar on the tops just to sweeten it up a little bit because brown sugar and salmon go together fantastically. So for that, I'm gonna ask my little helper Caroline to help me out again. So Caroline, where are you? I guess she's not coming. <laughs> A few moments later. Caroline, let's let's do this. Come on. All right. Hello. Give me five. Okay. So you like salmon, don't you? Yes. All right. So what we're gonna do is take this. You're just gonna sprinkle it right over the top. We don't need a lot, okay? So just sprinkle it good. All right, here, let me help you out a little bit. All right, so this, this rub here, it's essentially salt, pepper, garlic, and it got some other spices and stuff in it too. Um, it is, it is kind of salty, so you don't wanna go too heavy on it since we already brined it. Uh, I'm gonna go get the bottle. And then I'll let Caroline help with the brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's anything with sugar, right? All right, so the sugar is right here. So just I just want you to sprinkle it on and rub it in, okay? Or if you sprinkle it on, I'll rub it in. Get a big, big, use your wine. There you go. Get in there. All right. Okay, that's good. You don't need a lot of this. Um, you don't really want it to cake on and stuff like that. Just just enough to get a good coating on the outside. So here, I'll go ahead and get this side. Ooh, that is definitely a lot. <clears throat> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take this outside, throw it on the grill. Well, first things first though, I'm going to slice up some lemons because I'm gonna put some lemons on the top of it. So that'll make it delicious. And as you can see, it's already starting. The salt and stuff on the rub is already starting to pull some moisture out from the top, so. Give me a few minutes, I'll meet you back outside. All right, so we're out here with the grill. Today we're using the Yoder Smokers Y640 pellet grill. I've got a combination of cherry, pecan, and oak pellets. We're running today. I'm running at really hot temperature at 400 degrees. I want to get this thing done beautifully. So as you can see, I got it on the old cedar plank here. So I'm going to set it right here on this little rack. Also have the amazing smoke tube running so I can get a little bit of extra smoke on there. 
So we're gonna put it to bed. Probably only take about 45 minutes total, cook time from start to finish. Um, I'm gonna come out and check it, probe it just a little bit. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is make up some asparagus, throw it on here as well, roast those off while, these, while the fish is gone, and have a fantastic lunch. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good, so just stay tuned. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so the salmon's out in the smoker cooking. Now I wanna work on a good, easy side dish. So while I was at the, the meat market, I picked up these asparagus. You can find these at the grocery store fresh. They usually come just like this with rubber bands on them to keep them together. So do yourself a favor, don't take the rubber bands off because it makes it easy to trim the ends off. Now, you don't necessarily have to trim the ends off, but I like to because a lot of times towards the, the bigger end, it gets a, they get a lot, lot harder and they don't cook as, cook as well as the rest. So leave the rubber band on, cook it, or, or just cut the ends off just like that. Be careful with the top because you don't want to break any of the tops off because those are the best part. All I'm doing with these is just putting them in a little, little bowl here. I'm gonna hit them with some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, get it, get it. Mm. Olive oil is delicious. And then keep them with the same flavor. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, AP rub. So get that in there. And all we're gonna do is just mix them all up. Get them nice evenly coated. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the put these on that little silver rack that was already in the grill that I put the cedar plank on. And then that way, make them easy to take on and off. So I just wanted to preheat that rack so I get a good, a good sizzle on these things here. So um, as you can see, they are quite fantastic. So, all right, nicely coated, nicely seasoned. Now, all we gotta do is go throw them on the grill. So stand by. All right, let's get this asparagus on. Oh yeah. So then I'm gonna put it on this little preheated rack. Let's see if we can get some sizzle going. Oh yeah, I can hear it already. Mmm. So everybody likes roasted asparagus. The little brown bits that they make, that they become the caramelized deliciousness. So get them all spread out here on this little rack. Mmm, 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 mmm. Slide it back in there. As you see, the salmon starting to work, starting to pull out some of the moisture. Mm, 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 mm. It's gonna be good. Right. Be back to check this in about 15, 20 minutes. Let it ride. See you back. All right, so everything's on the grill. Now all we gotta do is make the maple bourbon glaze. So what I'm using is 100% maple syrup. You don't wanna use imitation, no Mrs. Buttersworth, none of that. I know she's awesome and everything else, but no. You need to hit some 100% pure maple, maple syrup. So the ratio, what I'm using is, this is for my taste, you can add more or less to yours. I'm gonna go ahead and do three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. Look at that, just enough in this bottle left over. To one third of a cup of bourbon or whiskey. I'm using, like I said, this calls for bourbon. I'm using bullet rye. It's just like bourbon, almost. Just not considered bourbon. I'm not gonna get into that, but anyways. To about a third of a cup. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. I like bourbon. I like whiskey. Maybe one for my homies. There we go, perfect. And the only thing you gotta do is mix it all up. And if you're concerned or worried about the alcohol content of this, um, due to the high temperature inside the grill, it's just the glaze that's going on top of the salmon. It's, it's all gonna burn off the alcohol, so you're not gonna get drunk eating this salmon, unfortunately. I know, I know. I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. Mmm. Perfect, perfect balance. This, this bullet rye works very, very well with, with this. But you can use many things. You can use Jameson, whiskey, you can use you know, Irish whiskey. I wouldn't use scotch, use bourbon, you can use uh, Crown Royal, that kind of Canadian whiskey. Anything that has that kind of oaky barrel bourbon whiskey flavor. So just choose whatever you have on hand or go buy a bottle. This stuff is not very expensive. Um, you probably, 
pick it up for pretty cheap. You'll probably actually pay more for the maple syrup than you probably will for the, for the whiskey, depending on what you get, so. Finish this up, go out there, check on the fish. We'll get to glaze in just a few minutes. Stay in All right, we're about there with temp. So what I'm gonna do is the asparagus are actually done. I'm gonna pull those off and then I'm gonna start glazing the, the salmon. So I'm looking for the total cook, the internal temperature of the salmon to be 140. And right now it's hitting about 125. So I'm gonna go ahead and start glazing. But before I do that, let me pull off these asparagus. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Roasted, good looking. But I need to put a, I need to go ahead and put a sheet of aluminum foil down on my grill, only because it, literally this this glaze will make a giant mess. So, so I got glaze over here. Look at that salmon; it's already looking great. All I'm gonna do is just drizzle this on. I'm gonna do this a few times, so I don't want to brush it because. I don't want to mess up what we got going on. So I'm just going to drizzle it all over the place. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this is looking great. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And let it come up to temp. Glaze it about every, I don't know, every five minutes or so. Um, just keep checking the temp. When we hit 140, we're gonna pull it off, let it rest, and it's gonna be eating time. For now, I'm gonna stick these asparagus in a container, just let them rest a little bit, they'll be cool enough to eat by the time the same is done. It shouldn't be long, stand by. Oh, hey! So, we're almost there, still glazing. Let's, let's check the temp, we're looking for 140. at about 136. Hmm. The smaller or the, the thinner end on this side will, will obviously be done. Uh, so we're just getting one final glaze here. And we'll go ahead and pop it in, bring it inside, let it cool off. We'll try the old grill. It's looking good. Hmm. Can't wait. All right, so we're all done. Everything's rested. As you can see, the asparagus looks good. The salmon is smelling amazing. So now the time to try it. So I'm just going to take, you know what? Okay. My smoked lemon. Oh yeah. Get a little flavor there. I'm going to get an end piece here. Let me see. Mmm. This is probably the best salmon I've ever had in my life. No doubt. Mm. Hit it with some asparagus here. Yeah, I'm not using a fork, who cares? I'm in Florida. We don't use forks all the time. Mmm. Mmm. Roasted perfect. Still got a little crunch to it. Mmm. With this salmon. You see, just flakes apart. It's cooked perfectly. It retained a lot of moisture. Mmm. Actually, let me, let me cut it down the middle here so you guys can see. Look at that. Look at that. Comes right apart. Mmm. Little hint of whiskey. Salt, pepper, garlic, brown sugar. It's wonderful. A little bit of smoked lemon on the on the back end. Perfect. You gotta try this. If you're not into turkeys for Thanksgiving, salmon's salmon's your next best thing. It is unbelievable i'm probably gonna eat this entire chunk myself and the rest maybe later on tonight we'll see but if you like what we're doing here subscribe got some more videos coming out soon let me know in the comments if you want me to cook something special something else different It'd be awesome until then <laughs>